Hello everyone, I'm Alistair and welcome back to the Timberborn. In the last episode we almost finished our industrial district, so I will be finishing that. And what's this? Ah, the drought is approaching in less than one day. So yeah, and our terraforming station is finished. Perfect, so I can start covering this up and reclaiming the land. We will use that for our farms and for, uh, especially for the chestnut trees and maple trees that we will be moving somewhere here. We already have berries here so we will get rid of all of this and we won't be growing any food here anymore. So that's the plan for today and I of course forget about something as always but I will find out. Let's at the start blast this off. Yes that's a good start the blasting that never hurts okay this needs to go okay increase the speed to the ludicrous speed like in a space balls if you never watched that movie do it it's worth it okay so that's it let's get to work so, as you can see, there is a lot of terraforming going on, on it w or it was, but there are still a few projects that we are working on. This is quite nice and flattened, we just need to get rid of this, you know, pollution. Maybe I will be keeping this bad water source for our manufacturing purposes and getting rid of almost all of this, except for the dirt excavator or maybe even moving that out it's not a big hassle but i'm thinking about turning this off or closing this one this bad water source so we can utilize this land for even more trees growing we were struggling a little bit with wood for some time but it is fixed now we already up to the 2000 logs uh, because mostly i stopped spending that much yeah there is a mess all over the place as you can see but we are slowly clearing that up our builders are working a hundred percent all the time this is our new canal this is our main canal now and we will be going all the way through this hill here to the source you can say building a floodgate here and another one maybe here so we don't overflow this and we will be bringing water straight from here too. At least that will be an option, but the main inlet is still this one. Okay. Yeah, we terraformed a lot. We filled this with land. And we are still filling this part here. And as you can see, there are... Just a moment. Now you can see there are plenty of explosives ready. To be detonated so i'm just waiting for a few of them which was already finished as you can see we will wait for the next day and we will blast all of this off and for the next drought i will get rid of our wheels here and we will deepen even this part and i will need to deepen this too so i will keep more water flowing more freely maybe i'm not no i don't know i'm not 100 percent sure but that's it, that's the terraforming project. Finally I will be moving these chestnut trees. Hopefully I plant the chestnut trees, yes. And the drought is coming in three days, perfect. So here we will have chestnut trees here. These will be maple trees. And here I will put more chestnuts, I think. So we will have our food production here. And we will be transferring them just over the here, so it is quite closer. And so this will be our free space here. So I will be rearranging this residential area because it's a mess and it's ugly, honestly. So we will need some new housing projects. But we will sti we still need to wait for that. There's a lot of work to do for now first. Let's do that first. Yeah, that was a small detonation. <laughs> Okay, they got rid of the trees, so let's plant more explosives here. 
Go out to save, yes. Okay. So, I think we are good to go with blasting. What do you think? We should do it still before the drought starts. So, yeah, let's go. Let's start from up here. Detonate. There will be still a few spots that need work. But not too many. Perfect. Look at that deep water. Now I just need to rebuild our roads. Okay, we will need to blast this one of two. I want to have it nice and symmetrical. So that's the highest priority, please. And the road shall go from here to here. So let's prioritize this terraforming project. Thank you. These showers can stay here as they are. And what about here? Yeah, I need to make some temporary roads. So here will be one, here will be another one. So we can blast these parts off. Much better now, we can hold much more water. Oh, they are working quite well, but I also Still, I think I will deepen it beneath them. Or maybe keep it like this? I'm not sure. I will decide later. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot of blasting. Maybe continue here with some detonations. Okay, I will wait for this to fill. Yeah, this is like a like a Panam canal or whatever it's called. <laughs> or Suez canal. Yeah, that we will be transferring it from the higher plane to the lower plane. Because I don't want to overflow our village. And I know a city, I mean. And I know this looks quite janky and ugly. I will do something about it, but not right now. We already have our hands full with all the stuff going on. Okay, and the power is working perfectly. We have a lot of power. We can even build more industry if we want to. But I need to grow our population to do that, because as you can see, we only have four unemployed beavers, and I have even paused this holding post, and not all industrial buildings were built. So yeah, we need more people. Oh, I mean beavers, no people. Humans are dead. They are no longer here. And we are usually running on three of these pumps because it's enough. <laughs> they are really powerful. I love them. Maybe after we finish all of this, I will do another district. Maybe this way. This way looks good, and we will have we have uh, underground ruins here, a good source of metals for our heavy metal beaver band. So yeah, most of the work is already done. Now we just to uh, clean up and redesign this part, of course. But I need to wait for these chestnut trees to mature and then. I will do something about that. Look at that, how clean it is, this main canal with three nice bridges. They would look even better if they were longer, but look at that. That's amazing. I will have houses built um, by the shoreline here, or by the riverbank. I will build some houses here. not. All of them, but I think it will look good if we, yes, unlock these and build them just like this. Uh, maybe not that much, I'm not sure. Maybe I will build them other way around. 
construct like this. But I can't build these here because they have an entrance at the next story, not on the, you know, ground level. And maybe just use the regular ones. I'm not sure exactly what to do with these. I, I know one thing, I want it to look good. <laughs> That's the main. That's the main issue. Hmm, maybe I can do something like this that I've done here. These houses. I'm not sure yet. Or I can bury them one deep. These big ones. That's for nine people each. Hmm. No, that's not nice. Yeah, like this. They will be one level low, so they will be on a ground level, the entrance. But then I will just have a uh, bloody road in front of them. Hmm, I will try this and I will let you know how it will end up. You will see the result of this madness. Okay, now I forget how I have that. <laughs> I need to figure that out again. Yeah, like this. Okay. I know this is not the most efficient way, but it looks amazing and I like it. I will build it and I will have it. <laughs> you can even have some shrubs here in front and benches. Yes, now that's it. Perfect. I love that. And I'm building that. That looks amazing. I need to decorate my city a little bit more so it is not so, you know, bland and then dead. Ooh, our new inlet is done okay let's detonate these and our panama canal Suez canal whatever it is it's finished but not quite because now i need to regulate this water because i think if i keep it like this it will overflow i'm not a hundred percent sure let's detonate this one nice Okay, it's working so far. No flooding yet. But still, I can build something like this. Like triple flood gate here. Or just a regular one up here, just in case. Even this small one. like here but so far it's working so I'm glad that's perfect finally I've done something at the first try that didn't you know blow into my face straight away <laughs> okay and now we should start working on our well-being because it is really low I will guess that's because of the all those workers that need to travel so far away to build all the crazy stuff that I wanted from them. <laughs> because they need to travel from here. That this is our like main hub. I'm going all the way here. They have no time for recreation when they go to home. I wouldn't be surprised if they were sleeping somewhere in a on their way home somewhere outside without the house you know I'm just checking these chestnut trees how long oh, they are 50% grown these are 79 okay they will be soon ready and I will be able to get rid of these but I really like this what I've done here and that's only for three six nine that's only for 12 people And I will be redoing most of this. 
I want these people to be closer to this district, uh, like district this. No, wood processing facility <laughs> or district, even if it's not district. So they are not everyone traveling from one central location. In theory that would work great, but it's, you know, practically doesn't work like that. As I wanted it, you know, in the beginning that I want one big residential in, in the middle and then everything around it. It's not the most effective and I still will have it and have it like that. I will just spread the housings a little bit to the edge on this residential area and in the middle I will have more well-being and storehouses and stuff like that. Storehouses uh, specifically for food, water and that's it practically. But that will take some time to build it, but this I want it. I want to have it finished. I don't know where all my builders are, but probably here. Building all these explosives here. Yes, they are all working here. This isn't even the priority. I would just want to flatten it because I don't like how it looks like. <laughs> That's the main reason why we are doing this. Look at that, how amazing that looks like. That's a proper street. That's how the buildings should look like. I mean the residential buildings. And we will have a similar one right next to it. I just need to get rid of this ugly road. And I'm thinking about where to put our storages. I want them to have close to the houses, but not too far away. And not too close. That's what I meant. Is this water too deep for Lido? We need to find out. Because if it's not, we can use it a little bit for recreation. And if it's too deep, then well, we will make them somewhere here. If we need to. That looks amazing. I love it. And here it is. I finally found a style, a character for our city after, I don't know, 12 episodes? <laughs> 11 or something like that? Decorations. If there are not enough decorations, you need to use more decorations. That doesn't make sense, but you need to use more decorations. If you don't use decorations, then there is no character, no city, and I don't like it. And this, I love it. I wonder why I didn't do this sooner. This is so pleasant to look at. At least for me, this is amazing. I love it. So I'm slowly transforming our city. So I started here. And I will slowly move through all of this mess that's here and make it much nicer, better. Maybe not more efficient, but nicer to look at and nicer to live in. And what do we have down here? A small storage, you know, a medium warehouses, sorry. I wasn't going to, I was planning to use these large warehouses, but it was really a hassle to fit it in. So I was like, oh, maybe I will try with the medium ones. And it looks perfectly. We have, let me show you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six here. Just for food berries, bread, carrots, crude potatoes, crackers, spider dog. It's not all of the food that we are producing, but most of it. And we can expand it. We can build this again, like a. It's like a commercial district or whatever. And then on the top of it, you have a rooftop terraces. And we can fit anything we want in between these houses. We even have a big large tank. Big large tank, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Large tank for water here at the end of the street. I love it. It's amazing. And I even planted a few trees to just grow here. To make it maybe a little bit nicer, we will see. If not, I will just chop them down. And the drought ended, opened the gates of hell, so we don't flood. 
Okay, and we have like one, two, four Lidos here. Some showers. It's going amazing. I love it. And in the next episode, we will expand this even further. We will transfer, transform the whole city to looking like this. The only thing that I would really want to do, but uh, there's, it's not possible, at least not without modding. I would like to have these large tanks hidden underground, just like the warehouses, and build something on top of them. But maybe one day I will be using mods and maybe I will find some that uh, will allow me to do that. I don't know. So, but for so now, we are doing great. I am spending a lot of explosives here because our storages were full, <laughs> like overflowing. So that's it for now. I hope you like this video. Please push that like button and subscribe if you like it. Leave me some comments down below, especially if you know ob about some uh, interesting mods. I'm planning to do a hard challenge with the Iron Tit. So that's it. Once more, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.